Hello my magical babies, welcome in, this is Cleo Ra and my tarot station is all about us getting those beautiful messages, divination, but it's also about using tarot the way it was always intended to be sacred keys of reality creation. So for you manifestation lovers, this could be the tarot channel for you. If you're returning, welcome back. Thank you guys so much for all your support, your beautiful heartfelt support of the channel. You know, I've had people leave me little comments telling me how much I've helped turn their life around. In some cases, people even tell me I've saved their life. So I really appreciate it when you hit all those buttons. That being said, I'm gonna flow into my guides now, connect with my guides, and we're gonna get some letters to start off with, followed up by some charms, and we'll see what decks I'm pulled to. So let's get into it. This is the Loot Lounge, where all the best things are found on the spiritual pathway. So, let's get into it. Thank you, spirit guides. Thank you, protectors. What do we need? Oh, I'm leave that one there. Okay. Now, what I was getting as I was meditating on that energy was the energy of faith, but it's fired up. Someone's getting their mojo back. Someone's getting their groove back. Someone's on fire and they're building up a great momentum because they're showing me the Flintstones and that doesn't happen in every reading <laughs> where I'm shown those feet that are getting the, the friction going and getting that momentum going. Someone's really determined to do something here. We've got I, I, O, that's a one, 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 straight up on the table. We've got P, U, O, <laughs> oh my God. We've got, we've got a lot of vowels here. Whoa, it's just like, ooh, <laughs> okay. Someone could have been doing the open university or someone could be thinking about going back into studies. I'm getting pathway from this, path. And they're giving me the number two also with these two number ones or eyes, uh, whatever you want to call it here. There's a lot of ones here. We've got a three and a one, 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 one. So someone's getting that pathway all aligned. I'll leave it to you guys to see what words you can get. I'm getting Pauline coming out of this. Okay, someone could have been digging in a shed for something. You could have found something in a shed recently. Let's get some charms and we'll see. What energies want to be felt? Show me. Okay, there we go. There's that faith right here. Look at this. We've got the angel wings falling out of, of our little treasure chest here. We've got this, and I'm getting like the Tao. Someone could have Buddhist or East Asian connections. And I'm getting this formidable energy off of this charm. You're digging something up. This is like when someone finds a temple and they start hoisting things out of the temple, but this is your soul here, and I'm feeling this rope, and you're pulling this rope, and it's almost like this determination in you that no one thought you would have, because we've got this, this beautiful deer here, and we had this out in a previous reading. This is the doe, this is delicate beginnings, this is finding your feet, this is being attuned to those most sensitive and subtle messages. So it's very important right now that you listen to yourself. They're saying it's so important because you're getting this, oh, I just felt this. They're almost showing me like a geyser or something coming up out the ground, but I'm feeling hot air with this, right? I'm feeling like it's. it almost feels like someone struck oil or they found gold. Something's going really well for you. I'm gonna leave it there and we're gonna pick a deck. Which deck shall we use? Let's use the Alien Dreams because I feel like this is really fitting for somebody. Yeah, I'm seeing a parachute, I'm seeing a parachute. And uh, I feel like you're not gonna let anyone steal your air anymore, because you know parachutes, if they get too close together, one parachute can steal the air of the other parachute. So maybe that's happened to you in the past, two seconds. Okay. Yeah, I feel like someone's maybe stolen the wind out of your sails, or you've trusted people in previous engagements, and maybe they've stolen your ideas, or they acted in a way that you didn't expect. You thought they'd be family. They used your ideas in other ways. They were competing with you. I'm hearing unscrupulous, so I feel like you've tied up all those old pathways, you know, where anyone in the past knocked you off your pedestal. It's almost like this energy of you found, you found your footing. They're showing me a tricycle with training wheels, and it's almost like in your previous experiences, it could have felt like people were testing your resolve and trying to 
push you off your pathway and now you've got these wings and you're golden and, and that's what I'm getting here you're digging up all of this energy and it really is like an excavation this is like archaeology this is like tomb raiding for you okay finding your path has gone deeper than you thought could have been hotter and messier and dustier. You could have, you know, I'm seeing someone, you know, when you get dust stuck to your face, chalky energy, maybe someone's been decorating, I don't know, but finding your true pathway, I feel like it's been a real old fun ride. You've taken some twists and turns you did not expect. Seven of Cups energy here. And I feel like this is the energy you're dealing with where, hmm, that message that came through here, like picking up on the subtlety, Picking up on those soft messages, but also any fiery, passionate energy within yourself right now, they're saying that's the way to go, right? Because you may be used to being, I don't know, maybe the kind one. Who knows what cosmic movies you've been in in your life. But I'm getting that now there's something more fiery taking off in you. But there's something here with the Four of Swords, Seven of Cups about you, because this is almost a hermit energy where you need to go inwards, clear the signal, so you can feel the subtlety and the softness of the light that's coming through to you. Because there are multiple energies here. I will clarify these. Show me what next. What next? Judgment, transformation, the great way of the spirit. And for you to find your great way of the spirit, you've been down some old labyrinths. I'm, I'm really feeling this energy of these twists and turns and you not quite knowing what's going to happen next strange characters on the road right i'm getting like kooky characters uh, they're bringing up a really old-fashioned word here potty where in the uk some of the grandmas they would say things like oh i think he's a bit potty right because i feel like you've met some crazy characters along your way and you've picked up a lot of information i feel like over time you realize that these crazy detours well, actually, it, they're showing me like a secret forest where, yeah, it could have felt a bit spooky and it could have felt crazy and you could have met, met some crazy characters. But you realize that to get on this golden pathway, this beautiful raised up consciousness flying more wings to confirm our angel wings right here. You realize that you found so many treasures in the woods because these 10 ones they're showing me are all the different components you found. And they're showing me now these 10 ones will become one more powerful wand. Because there are so many components from this sequence over here that you went through to find out kind of and i feel like you're just at the beginning of course of the next phase of your spiritual pathway but i am really feeling laughter here we've got a ten of swords but i feel like you've got this beautiful sense of humor when it comes to any pain or any suffering you know maybe you are you know maybe you've got irish connections perhaps for somebody out there you don't have to but i'm getting this this beautiful humor with you thick skin and a great they give me depth with your pain threshold so they're showing me tattoos for somebody like your your pain threshold's really good and I feel like you found a lot of humor on this journey because I'm just getting this energy of if I'd have known then what I know now, would I have done it? Probably not, right? It's a good job we don't know which pathways we're going to take before we take them because we would almost talk ourselves out of it. But you found some real little gems over here. We've got the Ace of Cups with the Queen of Cups. So it's a holy grail. You really did it, right? You really, I feel like with you, there was a lot of research and a lot of digging and again they just keep showing me these pathways which are sort of twirling and whirling and you feel like you're back where you were but it looks different and it feels different but you know it, it's really it's been a long old journey for you wheel of fortune here we've got the devil right here and i'm hearing a marilyn manson song but at least i know wherever i go i've got the devil beneath my feet i'm also hearing kylie minogue better the devil you know so this is funny with these references because again the humor and it is like that it's like there's a version of you that you couldn't have imagined how crazy the world would be or the things you would come across would be but you're glad you know now right it's the clarity that comes with maybe a loss of innocence but a huge amount of love that you've sort of Ooh, you you found the pathway of the love here. You found the river. And I feel like you were looking for the river for a long old time. And this is the river of your soul. I feel the energy of someone who really needed to know why they were on this planet. And someone who really needed it to be deeper. The depth with you. You needed to have that deeper meaning. It wasn't enough for you to just be good in school. Or, you know, maybe you're the sort of person you knew you could do whatever you wanted. But it wasn't enough. 
So I'm getting grand old adventures with you. And it does feel like a jungle kind of energy here. We've got the Wheel of Fortune, Jupiter energies, and I'm getting this energy of a helicopter. And again, the heat with you. I don't know if you've been somewhere hot or you've been in uh, the armed forces or something like that. But I'm feeling the heat of like maybe the Borneo jungle or something like this. This could be the past life energy you're digging up. Because I'm getting that kind of Vietnam energy, right? Maybe your soul was in Vietnam. Because there's definitely some Far Eastern connections here that I feel like you will have been drawn to. They're telling me bamboo. Maybe your palette's been changing a little bit lately because we've got big old death here coming along to stir things up. Ooh, what's that one? Page of Cups. That really came out of my hand in a funny way. So there could be some unexpected offers. Lovely jovial people showing up. They're saying be open-minded to, you know, when small talk is just like natural and smooth and it, it kind of uplifts your day. They're saying be open like that. They're giving me the reference of like 101 Dalmatians, you know, those sort of British kind of jovial kind of energies are saying, yeah, that, you know, a smile can go a long way is what they're saying. And a bit of kindness can go a long way. But this is big transformation out of confusion for you after a period of time where I see healing here. Making way for this new growth with the Queen of Pentacles. And we've got two queens on the table, which tells me there's great satisfaction in your physical reality and great satisfaction in the heart space also. And I'm hearing kaplunk, like you're getting a lot of things you wanted all at once here. And there was a hibernation period, I feel. Because this has been off grid for you. This has been different to what you see other people experiencing. I don't feel like you're a nine to five person, even if you've got a nine to five. I feel like there's something in your soul that is... Ooh, off the beaten track would be saying the least here. But let's get one more for this Queen of Pentacles. Wow. I'm getting you realizing the gift all along was yourself. The gift all along was yourself. And now with this Nine of Wands, you're holding on to this great big value that you found, this big gold bar of self-knowing. And that's what I'm getting here. This is great self-protection. And again, that energy of, you know what? There may be devils out there. There may be people lurking. There may be all sorts of crazy creatures. Oh my God. Speak of the devil, yeah. Speak of the devil. We've got a king of wands here. Okay, so this is great supreme spiritual transformation. And this is you being ahead of the curve with something also. Apologies, my darlings. This is you being ahead of the curve with something and having so much faith in what you found in these labyrinths and in these etheric kind of, I feel like there's a little bell that was calling you on. They're showing me a spiritual bell, a little metal one, almost looks like a little bronze bell. They're saying you were following the ringing of our bell. Now, I mean, I don't know if you're planning on launching something, but the King of Wands has all the information that others don't have. He's ahead of the game, which is why he's the first king. So this is about sprouting new ideas before anyone believes in you. This is about knowing that what you've got might take a minute for people to understand, but it always does. The greats are always going to be confusing. Okay, so I feel like there's something you're doing here because you're ambitious, you're soaring ahead. With all of that jet fuel power, that heat, okay? Because it is like steam. It's like heat and water, emotion and passion mixing up. Now, these are simple concepts, but sometimes we all need to be aligned with this. It really helps me when I hear people on, on videos saying, reminding me of the things that we all know deep down. But sometimes we need to we need to have those simple reminders. So it's about that emotion and the passion mixing in a cauldron. And you being ahead of the game with something. Two of swords here with this ten of wands. Oh, following that little bell took you everywhere you needed to go. Because I feel like I'm talking to someone who you're highly intelligent, highly diligent, determined. And you knew you were here for something that had great meaning for your soul. But you couldn't see it for a while. It was hidden from you. So you could go on this fairy treasure hunt. It's so that they could get you to believe in magic because I could be dealing with someone who maybe you were an overachiever in school. That keeps coming up. Or someone who was particularly intellectual, perhaps. And I'm getting that, you know, you went the academic route. You did all the left brain stuff. The ration, the logic, you know, getting the marks, being scholarly and stuff like that and making sure you are the yang round, the physical world's idea of intelligence. But they had to tug you off into the yin realm here. 
They had to start whispering your name. They had to start getting those fae to start moving things around in your life. They had to. Magician energy. They had to awake your power. They had to get it wide awake and open. And now the magician knows what lurks out there. And he doesn't, he doesn't fear that. He keeps blooming and blossoming. He or she, right? The blossoms don't stop because the devils lurk, right? And now this is something... It's, it's taking off for you here with this magician. This is powerful energy. And I feel like you're someone who, once you knew which direction you wanted to go in, now you can roll those Flintstone wheels, right? Now you've got your fight. Now you know what you're fighting for. I'm getting this idea of like, you didn't know what you were fighting for before because you're very multidimensional and you needed some way to anchor and pull your focus in one direction because I feel like you're so good at so many things, right? So good at so many things with this magician card. And, you know, the innocence is lost, but not forgotten, right? I'm kind of getting that message here for somebody. You will re-pick up your innocence, but for now, it may feel like you've gone through a forbidden forest. They're showing me nettles, you know, things ripping at you, thorns and crazy stuff. And, ooh, yeah, it's like a creepy old vampire film. It's almost like you finding the magic. You had to get into the dark to see the fairies sparkle. That's what I'm getting here. Temperance with the Ace of Cups. So whatever it feels like you could be maybe defensive of at the moment, maybe slightly, you know, pampering yourself still with this Four of Swords, it's going to be all cleared up in a jiffy is what I'm getting with Temperance and the Ace of Cups. This is everything being lined up nicely. A lovely harmonic flow in your life. And flying away quickly from the dead ends because you're someone who doesn't take long. Once you've got your map, once you've got your GPS programmed in, you're off. And I see that here. All of this movement. I'm feeling formidable. I'm getting the energy of someone who knows they can create whatever they want because the magician doesn't show up on Cleo Ra's table for nothing. The magician knows he is the one that creates everything, right? The workroom of the mind. That's what the magician is. Realizing finding everything, realizing that your mind is unique compared to anyone else's. You could be stood in the forest next to someone who wasn't switched on, who didn't have their intuition tweaked, right? And they wouldn't have felt or heard or or sensed those fairy bells, those little non-physical beings pulling them along the path. So this is especially for you I'm getting. This is something that was meant to test you to see if you'd see the subtlety in the etheric realm. Right, I'm getting it. And now you've got this anchored in. I'm getting locked and loaded. You know what your holy grail is now. We've got the nine of swords. So there's a contrast here between maybe the anguish you were feeling, the stress of not knowing which way to angle your blade or, you know, what team to fight for. And now it's like, yes, you belong. You found something. You've got in where you fit in. I'm feeling this comfy energy. They're actually giving me the feeling of a baby when they've got their diaper on and they've got that cute baby bear, snuggly cute. Oh, they're making me broody here. But that's how precious something is that you found. I'm going to get more charms for this Queen of Cups after I finish clarifying these. Let's have a look at this Five of Wands. And I like this fight. I really do. There's that page of cups again from the beginning of the reading. There's that page of cups. It's funny, you could be getting in the mix, meeting a whole lot of different people. And there could be something in this group of people where they are all fighting for something, striving for something. This could be entrepreneurs, but I feel like this is people with fiery energy, fighting for whatever they want in life, right? So the Page of Cups would be you kind of getting in the mix of this. There could be one person that pulls you into something. Like I say, I'm getting this energy of... The synchronicity of a smile in the right place and just meeting one friend who takes you under their wing. That's it. That's what I want to say. One friend taking you into a new arena. This is like a Trojan horse. Someone's going to get you in the door. And yeah, we've got the Wheel of Fortune with the Wheel of Fortune. Someone's going to be very special and monumental in getting you into... This almost feels like the same vibe as you would get from the Order of the Golden Dawn or some sort of VIP could be celebrity they're giving me the word celebrity here but this is something special to you right a group of people who are selected respected and separated and you found your niche i know whoever this message is for it's gonna mean something to you and they're saying that pain is connected to that nine of swords the not knowing was worse than the knowing is what i'm getting here but you've Oh, you've scraped so much. I'm seeing metal detectors. It's like you've got so much loot from this forbidden forest, right? 
Let's see what they want for the Queen of Cups. Okay. I'm just, I'm just going to leave it there because we've got this bag which represents all of the loot from multiple lives. And that's why we see handbags carved on ancient, you know, buildings, monuments and stuff because it represents the true spiritual value of bringing everything together with this magician energy and knowing who you are, not just in this life, but in multiple lives. This is the overview of knowing your soul. So you could have found out your cosmic name. You could have found out your cosmic purpose. What kind of... You could have been using a pendulum recently because my pendulum just uh, got caught there. Now you know you work from lifetime to lifetime. For somebody out there, you know your cosmic name. You know your cosmic standing. Okay, and we've got sacred beetle armor. You have a mighty shield. So that's beautiful. Now you've learned, okay, I'm getting now you've learned what life is. You're standing up stronger than ever and these wheels are turning for you. They're saying two wheel of fortune cards. They do not show up like that for nothing, one on top of the other. So there's, like I said, a great boost of momentum. It's beautiful. After sadness, happiness and hope return. Number 22, butterflies in gloom. So you've done your gloom, my love. You've done your gloom. And now I feel like it's really, they're telling me boom, shake, shake, shake the room, right? Tick, 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 boom. So I like that. Let's finish off with one of these beautiful traveler cards. We've got solitude in silence. Peace prevails. So there's something here correlating to that magician. I feel like you're going even deeper, getting more. It's like you're getting more radiant in your spiritual work. But you'll find, it's again, that subtlety, it's like silk, it's like gauze, it's like you're finding all of your gems when you tune out the outside world and make it your world, your boudoir, your little ancient, beautiful temple. That's when the blessings are getting magnetized to you. They're giving me magnets. You know, the, the fridge magnets? And they're also showing me a house bunny where the girl was running along and she had, I don't know what it's called because we don't have that in England, but she was wearing metal things. I think it was to help her back. And she started running along the street and all of it came off her. It was her Forrest Gump moment where she found her legs and found her feet and started being confident and running and loving life. And that's what I feel like is happening for you. Fridge magnets could hold a message for you. They're saying, look out for that. We've got clear the past, heal the present. Perfect, perfect rejuvenating rain letting you know you are really heading up this cosmic river with this beautiful cleansing water. I really hope this reading's helped somebody. I love you, Cherubima. Big kiss. Mwah. Keep being great. Keep being strong. Keep being the amazing immortal being you are. I love you so much.